During his life, Nyerere was deeply committed to his Catholic faith and influenced by the social teachings of the church. It is said that he rarely missed daily mass, even on official visits to other countries. Multiple witnesses attest to the consistency of his prayer life, his ascetic and devotional practices, and profound filial devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Evidently, this life of faith, hope, and charity formed the foundation for his deep commitment to social justice and reform. He had refused to live in a palatial residence, preferring a small house where ordinary people could easily come to him for advice and help. Despite his political stature, Nyerere remained unpretentious at pains in shunning privileges that came with his office, whether for himself or for his immediate family. In life and after death, he left a reputation of unquestionable incorruptibility that can be grounded in his quiet yet determined practice of the Christian virtues. Those who knew his private life testify to the agonies he went through when the decisions he had to make as the leader of a secular nation state came into conflict with his Roman Catholicism. Weakened by cancer in his final years, the servant of God died in London on 14th October 1999. After a state funeral in Dar es Salaam, he was buried next to his parents in Butiama. Since then, his tomb has been visited by thousands of people honoring his memory as Baba Wataifa and seeking his intercession before God. May his soul rest in peace. The history of the cause of beatification and canonization of Mwalimu Nyerere began after his lordship, the late Bishop Justin Samba of the Diocese of Musoma obtained on 13 March 2005, the rescript the res from the discovery of the cause of saints to open the cause of Malim Nyerere within the forum of his diocese. On 21st January 2006, a tribunal was installed for this purpose. However, the sickness and the eventual death of Bishop Samba on 23rd August 2006 brought about the interruption of the progress of the cause. After his consecration and installation as ordinary of Musoma in January 2008, his Lordship Bishop Michael Msonganzila prudently waited the opportuneness of reopening the cause of Mwalim Nyerere. On 1st February 2012, the cause was reopened with the, the appointment of a new postulator. On 5th June, the members of the Tanzanian Episcopal Conference unanimously gave their assent to the favor 
to the favorability of receiving the process. In months that followed, three theological censors revived the writings of the servant of God and individually submitted a favorable report on the orthodox of their contents. On 28th October 2013, after considering the inability of the Diocese of Musoma to sustain further the financial obligations for the cause as well as the national significance of the servant of God, Bishop Msonganzira requested the Tanzania Episcopal Conference to take over the responsibility as petitioner of the cause. Under the presidency of his lordship, Bishop Tarsisius Ngalalikumtua, the members of the conference unanimously voted to accept the request on 7th November 2013. A month later, Bishop Msonganzila requested his eminence, Polycarp Cardinal Pengo, to accept the transfer of the of the competent forum for the cause from the Diocese of Musoma to the Archdiocese of Dar es Salaam. On securing the, favor the favorable response of Cardinal Tengo, the discovery for the cause of saints ratified the transfer of the competent forum to Dar es Salaam on 2nd May 2014. Unfortunately, the serious and prolonged illness endured shortly after by the both Cardinal Pengo and the late Reverend Father Raymond Saba, then Secretary General of the Tanzania Episcopal Conference, prevented the installation of the tribunal and the constitution of an association of the faithful that would oversee the finances for the cause and promote devotion to the servant of God. After succeeding Cardinal Pengo as Archbishop, as Archbishop of Dar es Salaam, on 15th August 2019, His Grace Archbishop Jude Tadeus Ruaj sought to install the Tribunal of Cause of Malim Nyerere. Although these attempts were impeded for several months by the COVID-19 pandemic, His Grace was determined to proceed with the process along with Archbishop Gervas Nyaisonga, current president of the Tanzania Episcopal Conference and petitioner of the cause. On 2nd July 2023, Archbishop Nyaisonga appointed Brother Reginald Cruz of the Missionaries of Africa as postulator of the cause of Malimu Nyerere. I would like to ask Brother Cruz to present his letter of appointment to His Grace Archbishop Wright and the faithful gathered in this first session. Submit 